The world absolutely needs your ideas, your curiosity, and your conviction. When I was a young engineer at IBM, I was fortunate enough that my vice president at the time was John Kelly. John actually gave me the best piece of career advice that I've ever received. He told me to run towards the hardest problems. Not walk, run. And that's where you find the biggest opportunities, where you learn the most, where you set yourself apart, and most importantly, where you grow. It's actually exactly what drew me to AMD. When I joined, it was clear the company had a mixed track record. But I saw the potential, the people, the vision, and the opportunity to help lead a company that mattered. And I knew I wanted to be part of that. It was actually my dream job. And looking back, some of the hardest moments we faced turned out to be the most rewarding. Hard problems stretch you. They demand focus, creativity, and determination. But they actually give you something that's even more valuable. They give you confidence. They give you growth. And they give you impact. When you choose the hardest challenges, you choose the fastest path to growth and the greatest chance to make a difference. I also believe that great leaders are not born, they're actually developed. Great leaders stay curious, they ask questions, they stay open, and they learn from everything, especially failure. I actually learned the most from the products that you haven't seen, the products that didn't work. And I can tell you I didn't enjoy it much at the time, and I'm sure you won't either, but every setback holds a lesson if you're willing to look for it. And I would also say, remember that you can't solve big problems alone. No one has a monopoly on good ideas. The challenges we face today are too complex to be solved by any one person, anyone with discipline or perspective. They actually really demand teamwork and collaboration. Because meaningful progress happens when people with different perspectives, skills, and experiences work together to solve real problems.